Hello everyone, welcome to the video where we are going to see that how are we going to improve the Wi-Fi signal faster or improve the Wi-Fi signal quality onto our systems on a Windows PC. So basically these bunch of steps, once you follow them, then your Wi-Fi speed will increase and the uh, signal quality will strengthen. That means automatically your Wi-Fi speed will improve. So without any further ado, let us just see what are these steps for the process. So this is the uh, window that you need to open. So how do we open this window? Let us just uh, see the process first. Press Windows R from your keyboard and then you will get this run dialog box. Here you have to type ncpa.cpl. The same uh, query you need to type ncpa.cpl. Click on OK. Once you click that, then this command uh, control panel window will open for you. Now, doesn't matter if you are connected to an Ethernet or a Wi-Fi, the settings are going to be same. Right now, I'm connected to a Wi-Fi. So I'm going to show you for Wi-Fi only. But if your Ethernet is connected, and still you are facing some speed issues, the same process you can follow, the same steps you can follow for Ethernet as well. So for Wi-Fi, what do you need to do is just select your Wi-Fi, right click and go to the properties. Now in the properties, here we have an option that says configure, just click on that. In configure, you will find this kind of a dialog box. So we need to go to the advanced tab, click on that. In advanced tab, we have these bunch of options, but we are going to change two to three options. The first thing is this fat channel intolerant. Its value is disabled. You need to change it to enabled. Then uh, again, you need to scroll down and select for roaming aggressiveness. So roaming aggressiveness value is by default set to medium. You might find it a different value for your PC, but let me tell you what it means. The lower the value is, the higher the connection speed is. So medium means the connection is average. This is basically set to average because if on your network there are multiple PCs that are connected, then your PC would take up most of the signal strength and the other PCs would start in that case. So this is an ideal value. The medium value is the ideal. But if you are sure that there are no other PCs that are connected to your network, in that particular case, what you can do is just go to the lowest or the medium low value. You can set it to one or two. In my particular case, the value is set to 3 medium, which is uh, best for me because I have other PCs also connected to the same network and I don't want them to be starving of the signal strength. That is why I am just happy with the medium value. In case your value is set to medium high or highest, that is the number 4 or 5, that means it is a red flag and you need to just change it to the me uh, medium. That is the uh, best value you can have. So once it is set to medium, then you need to go to power management. Here you will find this option, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. So you need to uncheck this option and then click on OK to apply those settings. Then your Wi-Fi will be reconnected. Once it is reconnected, again go to, again right click and again go to properties. Here in the networking itself, uh, you need to select internet protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4, go to properties. And here make sure obtain an IP address automatically is selected and open DNS server address automatically is selected. And go to the advanced tab, make sure DHCP is enabled. And for the DNS, um, if you want to add any other specific DNS addresses, that's where you want to add, but that is not going to affect us in any way. So we can skip this step. Once it's all done, you can click on OK and close this dialog box and then you will notice that your Wi-Fi speed has improved. So that's how you can improve your Wi-Fi speed or the Ethernet speed. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.